All right, I'm out here on the street. Lots of people are stopping and waiting. Woo! Lots of people across the street. We got some people call him Hakua Harris. I'm I'm just gonna call it Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris voters across the street. We're gonna go see what's up with them. What do you think? We're gonna see if we're welcomed or not. So we're nearly here. You guys, they seem to be going crazy for Trump. What do you guys think? Who's winning today? You think more people honking for me or for you guys? What do you think? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, it's both blue no matter who. Do you believe in that? Oh, right. Okay. I just see your signs say vote blue like some of them. Do you think vote blue no matter who? Do you believe in that or what? No, we like our candidate. You liked Biden? No, we like Harris. You liked Biden though? Yeah, okay. we really? Oh, we didn't call Oh, no, you guys. The Trump win. I think the Trump voters are winning out here. I was trying to converse with you guys, see what you guys would say. There isn't? I thought unification is what was important. I thought that's, that's what... what you're trying to do. Really? What did I say? That's rude. You're the rude one here. Jeez. But anyways, guys, I was just wondering, like, what's the one of the number one reasons you'd vote for Harris? Like, why should I vote for Harris? I don't have time See, this is strange. The Democrats seem to be full of hate. They're all flipping me off, telling me to leave. It's crazy how hate-filled the Democrats are. I thought you guys were the, like, inclusive party, but you guys are excluding me. And it seems you guys tend to exclude a lot of people. Can you take our picture? Yeah. With my camera? Of course. Okay. Hey there, sir. How are you doing today? I'm glad to hear it. I'm trying to have a conversation with these ladies, but for some reason they don't really want to talk to me. Um, I was wondering, do you have a reason why I should vote for Harris or why people should vote for Harris? I can tell you a reason why you shouldn't vote for Trump. Yeah, what's that reason, sir? He's a crook. He's a crook? Yeah. Oh, okay. I tell you, I, I wouldn't argue with you because it's not good. You're not going to win, and I'm not going to win okay. with each other. It's a waste of time. Uh, well, I would actually argue the contrary. I think it's good to come together, have conversations, and try and understand the truth. Well, they've been doing that for ages. Who's they? Everybody. Well, let's be honest. Oh, whoa, whoa, he's saying Trump. Woo! God bless you, sir. Yeah! All right. Sorry about that. Just a happy family. Having a conversation with you, I have my reason to Okay, well, you know, that's that seems a little, like, contrary to what, um, you know, for instance, in the Bible, it tells uh, his followers to go and spread the gospel to all creatures. That's what it says in the book of Mark. I don't know if you believe in God, but the whole core of the Bible is about spreading truth, right? And and if you saw somebody living a lie, you wouldn't want them to continue living a lie. You would try and expose the lie to help them. Have you ever been in the service? Uh, no, sir, have I have not. you ever been in the military? No, sir. Okay, that's pretty well. Neither has Trump or any of those people up there. Okay. It's a hell of a lot different world. And neither has Kamala Harris. Don't, don't talk to some of the GIs and ask them. Well, um, let's see. Ex-Democrat, her name is Tulsi Gabbard. You ever heard of Tulsi Gabbard? Nope. Well, she was a Democrat running for Hawaii. She successfully ran. Um, she was also trying to run in 2020 against Donald Trump, actually. She was in the debate with Kamala Harris. She was an ex-Democrat who now is supporting Donald Trump. Uh, Robert F. Kennedy, ex-Democrat, now supporting Donald Trump. And here's the thing about Tulsi let Gabbard. Me, me, she was in the military. Let me say All right, well, that seems to be the common trend with Harris supporters is they want to send people away that don't agree. They don't want to have a conversation, unfortunately. So I've tried. 
I tried with the blue haired lady. I tried with the other ladies. Um, they just want me to leave. They just want everyone who doesn't agree with them to leave. And well, that's not what I believe. I think we should stand united. Did you know? Well, actually, this is a public sidewalk. I'm not harassing. I don't have to leave. Look, uh, you, you're approaching me to talk to me right now. I know that. So, if anything, you're harassing me. You're telling me to leave when I don't have to leave. That's actually harassing. That's actually harassing. No, it is. Uh, I've actually gone to probably more school than you, but unfortunately, degrees don't equal the law. You could have as much education as you want, but it's not going to be on your side when the law is here. The law is going to tell you I have every right to be here. Hey there. Hey, well, I was over there, but I decided to try and have some conversation with the people. Uh, let me ask you a question. Are you for Trump or for Harris? for this, the, the right one, the right choice. And which is the right choice, sir? The right choice would be Harris Walls, my man. Okay, and why? Why is uh, Harris Walls the right choice? Trump's a lying sack of shit. What's he lying about? Whenever it lets go, he's lying. Okay, you can tell us anything. Uh, I'm a veteran and a, and a contractor, a construction guy, blue collar all the way. Right, right, right. Trump sucks. And why though? Why? Just I one just reason. Told you. I yeah. don't like liars. But what man. is he lying about? Hey, you guys are doing good. Keep up the good work. Look, the best thing about lies is exposing them. What's the lie? Expose it for us. Oh, they just walk away. I don't have all day, Barbara. That's weird. They just walk away. They wanna they wanna yell at me and tell me to leave, but they don't got anything. It's so weird. Why does this keep happening? Continuously I'm trying to engage with Harris supporters and if I don't agree with them they just want me to leave I'm just standing here with my flag and actually I'm being quite peaceful I was being very respectful but they told me if I don't agree there's no point they call themselves tolerant but they're intolerant to anyone that doesn't agree with them they try to call us racist but then they call him orange man calling him by the color of his skin they pretty much just act like a mob out here they want to try and get all the people they can to scare one person away just one guy with the flag and it's crazy how many people are coming up to tell me they love that i'm out here they absolutely love that i'm out here for trump and you know i just want to share the love really i want to share the love that jesus christ has to offer well it didn't go exactly as i thought I thought maybe we'd be able to have a conversation with these Harris supporters, but uh, they're all trying to push me away and say that I don't belong here. They say, we're not going to engage with you. I'm just going to continue to ask more questions and see, you know, why they support Harris and, and why other people should try and support Harris. Look how hateful he is. <laughs> Look how hateful he is. Well, that's a wrap up for me, Rancor Sweely. Just want to tell you, get out there, let's vote in this election. Let's make sure the right guy gets in office. See ya, pal.